Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is I, Matthew, aka Snacks XXV. I am here with another video for you guys. This is video number four, and I'm super excited, as always, to be here with you guys. Today, I've got something really exciting. If you watch my past videos, I was talking about signing up for Marvel Collector's Corps. Now, this launched back in April, um, and I signed up for it right in the middle of May. And I finally got my box and I want to show you guys what came in the box now I would do a normal unboxing, but I'm not going to you guys all know how a box opens So I'm just gonna get straight to what came in the box and my favorite things The first thing you'll notice as I puff my chest up is this wonderful Avengers t-shirt now It's got Captain America and Ultron on it But there were four different types of shirts that you could have got you could have got Thor you could have got Captain America you could have gotten Hulk or you could have gotten Iron Man. I got the Captain America shirt. You can't really lose. Um, any one of those shirts, I would have been very happy with. I kind of wanted the Hulk, but I'll take any one of them. It did matter to me. The second thing that was in the box I thought was really cool was this Guardians team up comic book with the Avengers. As you can see on the front there, it's got Falcon. You see Drax on there. You got a couple of different characters that uh, it, normally it's, it wouldn't be in an Avengers comic book. So really excited to check this out i have not read it yet but i'm looking forward to it um there were a few other things in there um of course they put their little little pin in there to pin on your shirt if you if you're into that kind of thing and we also got a little patch you know to patch on a jacket maybe it says marvel collectors corpse um right on the front there so the two things that were probably my favorite were, were right here so um, number one uh, vinyl sugar which is another part of uh, funko Release these little guys. They're called Dorbs. And what we got here is the most adorable little Ultron figure that you've ever seen. So we've got this little Ultron figure here. Um, these retail for about $11 when I looked on Amazon. It's a pretty good value. But the main thing that I signed up for the Collector's Corpse was for was this guy right here. Now, first of all, if you look behind me here, there's a gaping hole on my second shelf of all my figures. And you're probably wondering what was there, what's there. It's this guy. It's the Hulkbuster, guys. The Hulkbuster six-inch pop bobblehead. His head doesn't bobble very much, but I don't really care. This is just an awesome, awesome-looking figure. Really a lot of detail on it, if you take a look. It's got a ton of detail. Really, really cool-looking figure right here. I was super excited to get this guy. Now, I looked on Amazon to see if this could be purchased outside of the Collector's Corpse. It absolutely cannot. I mean, you can purchase it secondhand from scalpers and people who don't really want the figure but it's going for about $65 on amazon.com eBay as well so you still have time to sign up for the collector's corpse and get this which was only $25 so I really feel like I got my money's worth out of this box it also came in this really cool box right here you guys take a look at that little Avengers box got some Marvel stuff on the sides really pleased really really happy with what I got out of the box now was really excited to get that. I'm glad I could show it to you guys. I will be putting um, the Hulkbuster back up there in a few moments. Now, tomorrow is a pretty big day in the world of gaming. We haven't had a lot of great video games launch over this summer, but we've got one tomorrow and I'm really excited. If you've seen the reviews pour in for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, you know just as I know that it is a top tier game. I'm super excited for it. I'm also very intimidated by it because of the 200 plus hours you can spend in this world. But The Witcher 3 in the United States is launching tomorrow. I hope you guys are going to go pick that up. It's one of those games that doesn't get a lot of shine um, on the commercials or in the realm of gaming. You know, it's Call of Duty and then we've got Madden and Grand Theft Auto. The Witcher 3 is one of those games that I think needs to be pushed up to that level needs to be getting that shine from those other games that we see so often. Really excited for The Witcher 3 to come out tomorrow. Also, it's a pretty big day for us Destiny fans now. As I mentioned in previous videos, I've got a love-hate relationship with Destiny, but uh, Bungie is launching tomorrow the House of Wolves content for Destiny. I've heard really, really good things about it so far and everything that I've read. So I'm excited to get hands-on with it and see how good it is and what kind of content it adds to the gameplay. Very exciting stuff tomorrow. Really excited for that. Other than that, there's not much else coming out recently. In 10 days, Nintendo is launching Splatoon. But beyond that, there's not a lot of games coming out. 
Now we're going to get to the point of the video where I talk about what I've been playing recently, what's been going on with me, and honestly, I'll show you what I've been playing, and if you're not playing it, you might get left behind. I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart 8 lately. They recently launched an update which included 200cc mode, which is the fastest, craziest thing I've ever seen in a Mario Kart game. It's really difficult, if you're not great at this game, to even stay on the track. Um, played a little bit of this. It, it's a tons of fun when you got friends over and you're hanging out and you guys just want something to play as a group. There's nothing better than the Wii U. Next, what I've been playing is a little bit of this, Final Fantasy X um, on the Vita. It's a great game to play on the Vita. I love turn-based RPGs. It's been a lot of fun playing this on the Vita and kind of going back to some of those things you remember as a child. Um, Final Fantasy X is awesome, even though I'm angry that they had to re-release this game so many times. Not only did I buy it for the PlayStation 3, I also bought it for my Vita, and they just released it for the PlayStation 4. Another gripe of mine, but those are the games that I've been playing. I hope you guys are playing something. I hope you guys are excited for The Witcher 3 and for Destiny. Um, those should be in stores tomorrow or able to download on your Xbox One or PS4. Super excited for another video with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back very soon with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have an awesome day.